Hello, so today I wanted to show you something, how to use uh, this library. Uh, no, where is it? Here, this library. So it's a Python library called OWSLib, open source Python library, thanks to Tom Kralidis. Um, so it's a Python library for uh, getting mainly data, um, maps, sorry. Um, so I wanted to use this because there is this uh, French mapping website, the National Mapping Map Agency, that has this very very nice maps. But when I try to export them using this button, I get something that looks like where is it? This. Uh, and in my opinion there is too much white around because usually you want to have multiple maps and you uh, I, I don't need this geoporta and all of this data um, so for this what I thought I could do was to use a script that would download the data and um, save them uh, there are protocols for this one of them being WMTS um, and this library uh, uses it. WMTS, if I'm not wrong, TS. Yes, so I, I use this but and applied it to my website. So if you go to how to use QGIS, you can see here. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. I think it's this one. No. Ah, it's this one. Sorry, wrong website. Um, so if you QGIS is a website used, a uh, software sorry used for mapping, and if you go down here. So this is another protocol, but I didn't make it work. You need. Uh, it does work, but the problem is that you need the key. And for the key, you need a professional account. And I didn't manage to get this. Um, so here, if you go to uh, WMTS, you copy this, you replace this uh, by the key. They, they have a test key called Pratik. Uh, I will show you um, how this works. So here is the Python script. So the first one uh, to, to install the library, just pip install. So uh, I install the library, then I create this object where I put the, the map, where the, the URL of the map. So with this key pratic, but it's better to get a professional key. And then uh, what I'm missing here is a Print our print. I would like to print all of this up and in between just a few dashed lines. So, what we do is um, we basically connect to it, we get a reply, and then we list what the con content is what uh, just the identification title just for uh, information and then we save it somewhere and uh, some of the information for example this th th I, I got this from this list and actually you can if I if I copy this this is one type one type of maps but the website offers uh, way more maps so you can see all of these the one actually I'm, I'm interested in is uh, called Scan25. It's this one, so I should put this instead. But the open key doesn't allow um, doesn't allow um, to have access to this. So I need to ask for a professional um, key. Meanwhile, I can run this script. So you can choose the, the important here uh, informations is 
tile matrix. I don't know how exactly they work, but row columns, so you can imagine some kind of grid. So from what I think, um, I think it's, <coughs> so if we type this on Google, you can see this picture comes. Um, so you have multiple level of tiles and then uh, you can choose the X and Y uh, position. So I should probably read more about it. So that's why I chose five, five, and uh, I will show you. So if I run the Python script, so you can see the two information, two types of information you can get. You can get the picture, orthogonal photography or a map. And this is the, the, the picture we get. And if I choose, uh, for example, here, let's choose one. Let's leave it five. No, let's move it down to three. And then here, choose five. No, sorry, four or two, no, or three. And then I run it again. You can see that I get another map, which is, I think, more focused or less focused, less focused. Um, what we can do is change this orthogonal photography for a map. So, up. Uh, so you can see a map here. I don't know where where is it. Um, let's let's go. That's I don't know how we can change the tile size. But what if we go crazy here? Will it work? No, it doesn't. It's probably too much. Yes. So that's something else to understand. I hope this was helpful. Bye.